catalyst for the formation of Whale was urban renewal. And Route 18, a small group of members formed the organization and wanted to save some of the properties that were ready to be demolished. And those houses were saved, they were moved, and many of them still exist in the district today. Simply stating the amazing track record of Whale is rewarding. 72 projects over six decades. Sometimes you realize the they in the phrase, they should do something about that, is you. Becoming a CDC allowed us to take on more projects in low and middle income communities and also allowed more access to resources, funding, and collaboration with a wider array of partners. And over the past six years, Whale has leveraged over $15 million in funds to complete 11 historic preservation projects that create affordable and transitional housing, cultural venues, and commercial spaces for women and minority-owned small businesses to serve all residents of New Bedford. Looking ahead for Whale and what's to come, the organization has such a rich history and has always been a creative innovator when it comes to restoring and revitalizing historic resources for new generations. And it's really been witness to the evolution of the historic preservation movement. And in turn, it has grown and changed with the times. But as we look to a new chapter for the organization, I see Whale as building upon our community connections to be more visible and accessible as a partner and a resource for saving endangered buildings and disinvested historic structures, helping stabilize and foster pride in the city's neighborhoods and preserving the city's architectural and multicultural heritage. As I walk through the city, I just see building after building that Whale has had a part in. I know there's going to be more.